Yo, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to be starting part 9 of what if Bill Hood landed in Attack on Titan. So, uh, yeah, let's begin. So, Goku says goodbye to his biological brother, uh, Raditz, and says, Come visit our sometime. Raditz says he will one day. Uh, Goku smiles and, and steps into his spaceship and, puts his, and makes his coordinates go to Earth. He says farewell, brother. And giving his brother the thumbs up. He gives the thum thumbs up back. So he fl and then he flies to Earth. Meanwhile on Earth, er, meanwhile on Earth, there's a Titan two times the size of the colossal Titan, um, is taken down by Aaron. The story becomes queen after t after finishing the finishing him off. So, so, so then. So, and then time passes, and she's helping out people, no children that live under lived in the undergrounds. So, uh, so uh, history talks to um Aaron and Mixa about like um, do they think that Goku's gonna win against Frieza? Aaron says, Goku, if Goku doesn't win, then uh, then Frieza's my next target after Renner and Bertolt. And, and. Uh, Mikasa says, um, I won't forgive myself uh, for letting him go on his own if he dies. So, so fast forwarding, um, they go to they go to see the wall, Maria. They, they, um, they, uh, shit, sorry, sorry about that. Um, the, so then Rainer, Rena, Bertolt, and Zaki attack them. Aaron and Rainer begin round two of the battle. He's confused to see that Goku's nowhere to be found. He think that Goku would attack. So, but he so he's so he is easily taken down a lot a lot faster this time because he's distracted. So, then Bertolt attacks um Aaron, Aaron and Armin. So and then he goes to kill he goes to kill Ar he goes to kill Armin with his heat. Hate Ray, whatever the fuck it's called. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, and then, Ar and then Armin's about to die, and then he sees um, like an an outline of his mom standing in front of him. He says, "Armin, you prom you promised Aaron that you that you know that the both of you would um see see the sea together. I'm not letting you break the promise, All right?" So he. So then, in a split second, the man, the man, the the heat stops, and he and he sees him more clearly. Spiky hair, no black, he has black spiky hair, and has has the survey corps uniform with armor uh, supporting it. In a split second, he, he cuts the nape of the colossal titan, taking Bertolt out of it. Then, he, then Armin passes out, out of like. Well, he believed because he couldn't breathe and he almost died of heat, so of, of burning to death, so he almost died. So he so he passes out and then Goku takes him down the ground safely. And then just like throws, and then just throws Bertolt. So, um, Mikasa asks him, uh, asks the man who he, he well, he, well, he makes that ask him, ask him who he is. He jokingly says, Goku or Kakarot. You could say, um, then Mika says, Mika says confused, but she said, he said Goku, then Kakarot, so, so, so uh, well, he know she knows that Ka Kakarot's Goku's real name, so he's really confused, so he goes to the, no, so she go goes up to him and pulls the hood down, because his hood went up, because he's fighting, because of the, like, the force of the wind, so she pulls it down, and sees a very familiar face. She immediately, she immediately hugs Goku as soon as um, he, she, she sees his face. So then Aaron gets out of his Titan after like, out of his Titan after seeing the hole. So and then he goes up and sees no and sees sees Goku um um says sees Goku standing on the roof. So he goes up and hugs him as well. So Goku laughs and then hugs them both. So, uh, 
so Goku, Aaron and Mixer t take uh, Hanji and Levi to the basement uh, and Aaron has this op um, the apparent key for it. So he tries to open it, he open it but he can't because this, uh, it seems to me not be the right key. So, go so Goku just blasts the wall, not blasts the door down without. No, I'm worried enough if he like broke something important. So, so he go. So, well, also, uh, Erwin's is the uncosmic titan and Armin because Armin's not dead. So, uh, yeah, well, and Goku healed him by like just like using some of his energy. So, uh, yeah, so um, Erwin's the Colossal Titan now, after eating Bertolt. So, so uh, they take, no, um, yeah, so then they find the right key for it, after Goku just blasted, blasted the door down. And uh, they find out about Grisha's past. Then Goku, Goku yells, Zeki is your brother? <laughs> um, yeah, well, in a, well, Almost like no, really, I'm really surprised. Um, so um, yeah, so go Goku and me. Well, go Goku makes it and Aaron are put into like prison cells, and and Aaron wakes up from like this, but uh, a dream that he had. He says that this the Titan that killed his his mother was was his. No, was his stepmother. So Goku, want Goku wants to throw up afterwards after he remembers that he, he immediately one shot at that Titan that, that killed his that killed his mother. No, that killed Carla. He says, the Titan that I that I brutally murdered. No, that I gave no mercy to as a child was your was your stepmother. Uh, go, uh, Aaron tells him to calm down and says it's not, it, it wasn't his fault because he was in a blind rage. And plus, he avenged his mother, so he's happy about it. So then Goku says, right. So then they go, and then the next day they go out to see the sea after go, uh, Aaron explained everything, and they find out that Aaron's going to die in 13 years. Well, in eight years then. So Goku just says um, that they're wishing back on the Dragon Balls then. So, no, what she found out in Namek, sorry about that. I just like randomly pause for some reason. So, uh, yeah, so go. So they go out to see the sea, and Goku just powers up in the middle of it to see what see what will happen. Water just like shoots up and then it and then hits everyone. So he laughs about it and says sorry about that. So later on they go to celebrate, um, seeing the whole no seeing Bull Mario. So so then they so yeah and then Goku goes out the train since well it doesn't really seem like he's a party person because he always ditches or something like that or goes out the train. So yeah I'm just gonna say he was out training. Then Mikasa uh, goes out because she says she needs fresh air and says she's going to go out for a walk before we look. Then she asks Goku, who's also out there, um, if he wants to go. So, uh, so uh, Goku and Mikasa go out and walk for a bit. Um, um, they just talk about random things. like, And then Goku just sees that. Um, Goku sees that uh, makes it some, for some reason keeps on going quiet, and uh, so he, so he asks what's wrong, and she says she says nothing. But uh, do you remember the first time we ever had a conversation or something? Uh, so then he's like, "Oh yeah, where we're talking about why I saved you from those idiot kidnappers." Yeah, um. Yeah, and then Mikusa says, uh, yeah, um, th I still can't thank you enough for that, though. Uh, Goku says, no, pro <laughs> no problem. And Mikusa just trinity goes quiet again. Goku notices it and says, come on, there has to be something wrong if you keep on going quiet. Like, what is it? Go and then Mikusa says, it's nothing, I just, 
have I just have a thing for someone. And Goku no and I don't know how to tell him. And Goku's and Goku says, Really? Who? Hmm, let me guess, is it Aaron? He says no. I mean no but you're close. Let's just say that he's uh, I've known him for a very long time. Goku says Armin. She also, she says no again. So Goku goes through every single every single guy that he knows, and she keeps on saying no. And she so he ends with Levi. And she's like, what? No, 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 no. That's that's my no, no. I'm related to him. So he's like, oh, right. Then who is he? Um. Well, Goku's really confused, and he's like, then who is he? Well, tell me about him. What? Oh, maybe I'll know if thing. No, if you tell no, tell me something about him. Megusa says, uh, well, um, well, uh, he's, he's protected me, like, he's saved my life many times, and, and he fights, and he loves to fight for others. So, um, yeah, the, and then Goku, th keep, Goku, th Goku thinks and wonders who the hell he is. And then, and then he says, uh, and then she says, the guy, the, the guy, like, is the guy I'm talking to right now. Goku is surprised. Right, um, just hold up one second. I just need to explain something here. I hate when people ship anime characters from, like, two different universes or something like that. It's the, like, it's just really annoying. And it's like, why the fuck would you ship them? And it's like, I mean, like, if... Like yeah, they're from the same universe or something, like, then I probably would be fine with it. But I mean, like, if the character is dating someone already, then it's just like, no, just don't. And it's like, yeah, but like I'm put. It's just like, uh, yeah, it's just really fucking annoying. And it's just like, why the fuck? Like people actually do like fucking shit these two characters. And it's just like, what? Like why though? Like it's just weird. Like go. Like, why, like, that's so, it's so weird, like, Goku's, like, well, I mean, in the current story, he's, like, in his 40s, and Amigas is, like, 19 or something like that, well, so it's just, like, why would you do that, it's just, like, no, but, like, if the, like, if they're from the same universe, then, yeah, I would be okay with it, so it's, like, so if Goku landed in this universe, then I'd probably be fine, like, no, I mean, it's just, like, Goku is like the type of person that just like wants to protect everyone, so he'd just be like, he'd be like the person, like it was technically his idea, he literally just like fucking ran off when he thing, he wasn't, when he was told not to like, like when he was told to go to like the mountain or something like that, I forget what it was, so it's like, uh, but he just ran off and tried to like find Mikasa, so Aaron just like, yeah, so I'd say like, Aaron would like say to Mikasa that it was basically Goku's idea or something like that. So, uh, yeah, it's just, it's like, just like, you shouldn't just, like, ship two, like, characters from, like, the same, like, mother fucking thing, but it's, like, it's just weird, if you, you know what I mean, like, it's just fucking awkward, just, like, making, like, two, like, why do people actually just fucking do it anyway? It's just, like, why? <laughs> well, you people probably already know what I mean. Like, people like shit like Goku and Cauliflower or something like that, or like Goku Kafla or something. Goku and Fados is like a really weird one as well. Like, it's just like, why? It's like every time there's like a fucking new girl or something like that, it's like, like they always shit with Goku or Vegeta or something like that. It's just, it's just so weird. So, yeah, well, yeah, I just need to get this rant out of the way. So, yeah, so people don't think I'm a shipper. Yeah. Yeah, they're just getting- yeah, but I'm putting them together for the sake of the story. I fucking hate shipping, like, so, yeah, the, I don't ship the characters at all. So, uh, yeah. I'll, yeah, just, like, continue with the fucking video, I guess. <laughs> and also, just, like, one more thing, it's just, like, uh, if you're- No, it's, like, Goku and- Goku and, um, thing. Like, Goku and me, because are obviously, like, the same goddamn fucking age. I'm obviously not gonna make, like, some fucking 40-year-old just the fucking thing. But it's like, uh, but yeah, um, so, uh, yeah, I just needed to get that out of the way for fuck's sake, and, and, yeah, I know I said it was one fucking thing, but I just need to say that as well, because, 
I don't want people to think that Goku's a fucking nonce or something like that. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, yeah, continue on with the video, I guess. Like, Goku's really surprised, he says, Hi, me? Hi? He just uh, blushes, and then tells Goku hi, no, and then tells Goku hi, hi, he's protect, no, protected her, like, many times, and motivated her to fight. So, Goku just said, I don't know what to say. I mean, thanks, but what? I mean, I. And then, Mikasa just go. No, Mikasa runs up and grabs. No, grabs his shirt and kisses him. Goku finally goes red and then almost faints. And then Mikasa grabs him and says, Sorry about that. I, um, I couldn't help myself. Uh, you don't have to answer what I said, but. Yeah, and then. So, and then she just starts to walk off. Goku says, wait, stop, and Goku shouts, wait, and then Goku meets the stops and looks over to him. And then he says, um, he, he, and then he says that he likes her too. Still really weird after we land. Me, makes a sit, no, makes a turn around and asks, seriously? And Goku says, yeah, and then and then she walks up and then hugs him, and then he hugs back. So, yeah, so they go back after after that, and then so and then they see they see two people, a person called the person who goes by the name Supreme Kai, and the other person goes by Kripido. So then they talk to go, no, and then they talk to Goku about a threat that's coming to Earth. So, uh, yeah, like, just like I was saying, uh, I hate shipping and all that, so I, I just put them together because, I mean, like, Aaron kind of rejected me, so, and plus, like, well, I mean, like, it was Goku, it was really, honestly, Goku, like, Goku likes to protect people, so, like, maybe I think that, like, Misa would be attractive since, like, Goku keeps on, like, has, like, protected our lives, like, so many times, so many times, I mean, so, uh, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you in part 10. Guys, peace out.